Well, y'all, welcome to camp. It's a little bit cold today. Um, so it's pretty much uh, evening. It's, it's after 4.30. Can't really even see the sun here, but it's getting ready to go down pretty quickly. Um, and it is incredibly cold. I think it's already below zero. We've had some incredibly cold weather recently. I'm gonna go ahead and get climbed up in here and get this closed up. Um, as you can see, I've got the heater going, but I do still have my heavy bag. Uh, just in case the power goes out and we'll talk about that a little bit more but let's get in here and let's get warmed up all right boots are off coat is off let's get this bag laid out so i can actually sit down back here Giant sleeping bag, giant warm. Sleeping bag is deployed. Let's get the rest of my junk taken care of here quick. Uh, I went and picked up a bunch of munchies and some dinner. I don't really have anything too wild for dinner tonight. We're gonna kind of have an easy, lazy evening. Got plenty of snacks, some more ramen stuff, things like that. Pick up some more coffee, snap into a Slim Jim. Put some basics in there. Probably more than I should need in here at any one time. And these, because I love those things. And some coffee cakes for breakfast, maybe. We shall see. Now, of course, I've got too much stuff, so that just means I'm going to have to eat a little bit of it. Uh, with those bags. These are what I typically use as trash bags back here uh, for my junk. Yep, that lid's not going to fit all the way on there. I might need to move some of that around. y'all well we're basically set up back here I have the heater cranked on high right now why don't I pull out my thermometer this thermometer is currently reading 21 degrees which is surprising to be honest with you I'll give you a little weather report outside it is currently one degree out uh, tonight we're looking at a low of six below so it's gonna get pretty chilly. Right now it feels like it's nine below. Uh, we have had some incredibly cold weather. Uh, last night was really, really cold. I believe this morning when I woke up, it was like 24 degrees below zero, which is crazy. I believe we broke uh, records here in Nebraska. Um, so yeah, below zero tonight, and then it's finally gonna start warming back up here. In fact, like next week, next Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be in the 40s here. So it's quite a big jump in a matter of a week. And I'm not mad about it, guys. In all honesty, I'm getting a little tired of winter already. Um, you know, I don't want to say, don't necessarily want to say seasonal depression. Depression is a pretty strong word, but I am definitely ready for some spring weather. And of course, I picked up that boat in the fall and I haven't really, I haven't caught a fish off of it yet. I've only used it once. I've only taken it out once just to make sure it float. It floated well, floated, is that even how you Make sure it floats and uh, make sure the motor ran. But other than that, I haven't done anything with it. So I'm actually really excited for uh, warmer weather, warmer spring weather, getting that boat out and, and uh, not being stuck in here as much. I'm, 
I don't really feel like hanging out outside tonight or building a fire or anything like that. Um, and this is really just a random spot uh, that I camped at here. This probably wouldn't be a site that I would typically stay at, at least not this one in particular. I have stayed at this park before. Uh, but this was the only site that had previously been plowed. There hasn't been anybody in the park for quite a while. Um, and the other ones, honestly, probably well over my frame rails at this point. There's quite a bit of snow out here. So I was kind of stuck uh, with this one unless I wanted to get out and start shoveling. And I have no desire to do that if I don't have to. So uh, before we get into dinner tonight... I'm probably gonna hang out and watch a movie. I guess enjoy the, the view of the snow while it's still, it's still here. I'm gonna get changed into my pajama pants and uh, probably crack myself a cold brewski. Oh, that's an empty bottle. In case we gotta go pee later. Uh, we'll crack ourselves a light beer. Kind of just sit back and enjoy tonight. So, even though I've got this heater running in here and it's heating it up really quickly, that thermometer went from like 21, it's already uh, at 48, but I've got that thing on high. I usually don't ever run it on high, so I'm gonna be able to stay warm. Uh, I did mention that I brought this bag just in case. Well, I guess I don't know where you're at. If you're in the United States, you probably had heard about this over the last week or so, but uh, even in this area, they're doing rolling blackouts. The electrical companies are doing rolling blackouts um, uh, for sections at a time because there's so much stress on the power grid right now here because it has been so cold. Um, so I don't believe that I'm gonna have that issue here. Uh, like I said, since I am plugged in, that thing could cut out and then I'm stuck with just my bag here. I do have my Mr. Buddy propane heater under the bed here in case I need that, but I did not bring my Reflectix. I just threw all my stuff back in here today. Uh, I guess if you watch any of my ice fishing stuff, that flip over ice shack that I drag around, uh, I have to take all this stuff out in order to get that in the back here. So that's that's another reason why I don't do big, have a big build out back here uh, because I need to be able to just take this in and out and, and use this truck as a truck uh, and not just a camper. But I'm just rambling at this point. Time to get these pockets emptied out. And uh, I guess really just get to relaxing and enjoying a movie downloaded a bunch of different stuff so we'll see what I start watching here we'll just get cozied up at least with the, the heater running I don't have to close the curtains and all that to try to stay warm back here so that's much nicer all right so long underwear sweats uh, I've got long underwear up top a t-shirt and this hoodie so I'm gonna be pretty warm um, I'm actually going to crank that thing down to low, crack a window open like I always do, so I continue to have some fresh air in here, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and shove my coat underneath the bed so it's just out of the way. I always hate leaving it up here somewhere. I keep telling myself I need to hang some hooks in here so I can hang it up just in case it's wet, but for now, we'll go under there, because that's fine, and that should be about it. Uh, yeah, let's get a movie going. Ooh, that's a dirty. days are starting to get longer so that's a good thing that's always a sign spring is on the way and we're up to 56 probably be over 60 degrees in here shortly 
Like I said, I just have that running on low. I'll probably change it so it's running on thermostat so it doesn't cook me out of here. I'm not gonna need much heat tonight with this thing. I probably won't even need to zip that thing up at all. So we are on Amazon Prime video and we are gonna watch Fire in the Sky. Um, I believe it's an alien movie. I don't think I've seen it before, so should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a movie from 1993, and let's see, Fire in the Sky. In 1975, logger Travis Walton uh, and his co-workers discovered a hovering UFO. Walton's pals fled, but Walton was not so fortunate. Whisked aboard the strange craft, he was subjected to painful, unearthly medical study. Or kick back, enjoy our brewski here. And I'm gonna sit here and probably watch the sun go down out of the window here uh, while the movie plays. So so stay tuned guys, once this movie is over, we'll shove some food into us and I guess do a temperature check at that point, see how much colder it's gotten outside. I uh, don't have to worry too much in here. Let's hope anyways, let's hope the, the electricity stays on. So. Can't drink it without the cap off of it. All right, y'all, well, I've been watching a movie. Uh, I watched that uh, Fire in the Sky. Uh, I had no idea that it was actually based on a true story. It was a pretty good movie. There's a lot more people in that uh, that were famous that uh, I would have recognized that I wouldn't have known by their names, I guess. Uh, so tonight, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I have a salad. I bought this from Walmart. It's a chef salad with turkey and ham. There's some ranch in there. Uh, it looks pretty good. I do have like, I bought some nice ramen uh, to go with this, but I don't think I'm going to eat that tonight. I've been snacking a little bit. Uh, obviously, if you guys saw all the, the snacks that I brought with me, but I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open and shove this in me really quick. Um, it's actually pretty cold, guys. Uh, surprisingly, even with the heater going, since I don't have anything on the windows here, it's actually uh, sucking quite a bit of the heat out of the cabin here. But I'm not terribly surprised by that, honestly. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab this, I guess, and use this as a table. So really simple salad. Uh, lettuce, carrots, there's some tomatoes, some meats and some cheeses on here. Gotta get all that ranch. Spicy like ranch dressing. Well, this should be pretty tasty. Shove some of this in. I mean, it's pretty hard to screw up a salad. I guess we'll do a little temperature check on the outside. It is currently negative two and it feels like 15 below. So it's a little chilly out there. I got a text from a buddy that I haven't heard from for a while tonight. Trip, if you're out there watching this. What's up, man? We'll have to get Trip on the channel. He's a trip. Trip's a trip. Well, the salad's good. Not much to say about it, except I don't like the way they cut these carrots. Why would you cut them that way? I don't know. That seems weird to me. Well, I just truly shoveled that thing in. Uh, it's pretty good. Can't complain. It's hard to mess up a salad unless the lettuce is like rancid. Get that thrown away. 
probably going to dick around on my phone for a little bit. I don't think I'm going to watch anything else on the tablet. Uh, and then I'm going to get headed to bed. Uh, there's a, a couple cool things at this park, although I don't know if I am have actually have access to it. But there's another park close by that has something that's really similar. It's about the same thing. So stay tuned. If we can't get access to the one here, we'll check out the uh, the one at the other park. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, good morning, y'all. It's like 7.30. 7.30 in the morning. It's currently three degrees out, so the temperature actually came up overnight, surprisingly. Feels like nine below out there. But, oh, this thing says it's about 50 in here right now. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Slept great. Plenty warm, obviously, in the sleeping bag. There's a little bit of frost on the windows. But nothing too bad. But I think I'm gonna get up and get some coffee going. Figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh. Let's get some coffee going. It feels like it's been a while since I've used this thing. What? My water froze. How did my water freeze in the cooler? That's awesome. Maybe I'm not going to have any coffee this morning. I got chunky water. That's ridiculous, guys. It's not even frozen solid, really. It wasn't below freezing in here. Maybe that floor gets really cold, I don't know. I don't understand why that would freeze inside of there, though. But there's enough for a cup of coffee in there anyways. I mean, I had an ice pack in there. Filled water all over the floor. Tight. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. That's the first time that's happened. And now I'm soaking wet floor. Ah oh, man, look at this. And I burnt my finger. Look at that. That's not gonna feel good later. Spilled water all over the floor. I've never knocked that thing over before. It's the first time that's ever happened. I'm pretty bummed about that. I'm gonna have frozen water in my floor if I don't get all this cleaned up. Well, no coffee this morning because my rest of my water is frozen at this point. 
I mean, the water's not going to hurt this carpet at all. It just sucks that it's all wet. I think on that note, we're going to set this heater to kind of blow onto the water spot. Man, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever done that. The rest of my water is frozen, so no coffee this morning. That's the only water I have in here. I do have some breakfast, but I don't have anything to drink with it, so I'm gonna pass on that for this morning. It's cooled off. I burnt my finger on this, trying to tip it up. Once it hit the ground, I grabbed the lip of it. Or maybe it was the handle, but I think it was the lip and it was already starting to get warm. But, yeah, there's one of your dangers. Danger zone. Yeah, I've never done that before. It fell out of the, the propane bottle. It's supposed to have this, let me take this off. I can tell you why this happened. These propane bottles have this black plastic ring on the bottom of them. There we go. So there's the bottom of your propane. But when you get it from the store, it's got this on the bottom of it. And that came off that there's glue in there that let go. So instead of this being held in nicely by that black thing, it tipped out of there. So I'm gonna have to uh, make sure I don't do that again because that was not an enjoyable experience and I've got a wet, big wet spot on my floor. If I didn't have a way to heat the floor up right now with that heater, that would be a pretty big bummer. My floor would be frozen solid. Should have just taken this out of there. It fits, it fits in there a little bit better, honestly, with that out of there, but that's it for today, guys. No coffee this morning. We're gonna get some of this stuff cleaned up and probably get headed out of here pretty quick and go check out a a pretty cool local site to see here. Now I really want my dang coffee. That sucked. It sucked a lot. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that. Yeah, we're gonna get stuff kind of cleaned up around here, guys. And then we're gonna run up to a uh, thing I want to go check out this morning. So stay tuned. <laughs> Try not to uh, hurt myself anymore. Yeah. I did burn myself, but it's not, it's not terrible. Could be worse, right? to the top of this tower I think it's about five degrees out right now so it's gonna be a little chilly at the top I did grab a net gator just to 
try to keep my face a little warmer. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. It's a long ways up. It's also a long ways down once you get to the top, but it's some definite cool views up here. exactly how tall this is this does not say it Ooh. we got a map here <sighs> I'm out of breath so this is talking about the Platte River and the reason it's talking about it is because this is the Platte River it's so right here running along here and all that is the plat. And it's mostly frozen over right now. There's a bridge, if you can see that bridge right there. You used to be able to walk across that. And uh, a few years ago when we had the floods around here, uh, some of the supports were damaged, I believe. And it hasn't been opened back up yet, so. But what we're seeing here, like this is all the park right here. And this is not the park that I slept at last night, which is kind of a bummer. So this park is a couple miles down the road, but this is a observation tower here. And if it wasn't snowing and I had a better camera, you could probably see the other one where I was just at. Uh, they have a big tower like this but they're doing some work on it and it's been closed off all year. So what you're seeing down here is a bunch of little cabins uh, that you can rent at this park. They kind of go down and along. Uh, there is a bit of river access here, but not much. It's just a really cool spot, guys. Um, this is the first time I've come up here in the winter. It's cool to look down and you can see all of these animal tracks all over. Some of them are human. You can tell some people have walked down through there, but most of them are animal tracks. And you can see how they follow along the edge of the tree line. They don't come out uh, straight into the open field. They walk along the tree line. There's no reason for them to come out, I guess. But it's cool up here. I don't know if you can tell how high up I am there's a really light snow you've got the Sun poking through the clouds and it's actually above zero so I'm pretty excited about that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out guys I hope you enjoyed it I had a blast uh, the whole goal really for me was to walk to the top of one of these towers and take a look at everything covered in snow because I've never seen it like this so this is pretty awesome. I'm gonna take a few pictures while I'm up here and then I'm gonna get headed home where uh, I've been told by the wife already this morning, we are scheduled for rolling blackouts today. So that's awesome. I don't have to edit or anything, you know, right? Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.